This is a journey into the inspiring life of our mother in Israel, a philanthropist and devout lover of God and humanity, Mommy Fulu Adeboye. This documentary captures the essence of her remarkable journey, highlighting her unwavering commitment, resilience, and unwavering love for others. From the tears of gratitude from a young student who now dreams of a brighter future, to the testimonies of lives transformed through her support, this documentary paints a vivid picture of her enduring legacy. The Redeemed Christian Church of God Women Ministry was established in 1998. That's about two and a half decades ago. As a matter of fact, the 25th anniversary was held in February 2023. Mommy wanted the program to reach the grassroots. We discovered that many female ministers and pastors' wives were not coming, maybe because of the um, risk on the road and the distance. So mommy decentralized it into four zones in 2015. The women in ministry over the years has really had a lot of impact on our women generally. They've been able to know their specific assignments, what and what they are supposed to do, the things that are expected of them in the church. Know who mommy is. Our desire is always to serve and to give. I can remember a very trying time in our nation, Nigeria. That was the time when churches were being burned in the north. What she did was to raise a fund. And what that money was used to do was to resettle people that wanted to go back to their hometown for them to buy land and um, maybe start their church again or to just get their life back together. College Magazine is an initiative of Mommy Jew, started some 25 years plus ago to give the Redeemed Christian Church of God women a voice. The mission and vision of the magazine is first of all, like I said, to give the women a platform to be able to express themselves. But in that connection, our core values are to educate, to inspire, to encourage. And I think God has helped us along the line all these many years. Africa Missions started as West Africa Missions in year 1996. And um, Africa Missions was started based on, you know, the yearning in the heart of Mobijio, uh, Pastor Mrs. Folua Adeboye, with respect to how to bring up the standards of humanity. We have children who have graduated, lawyers, doctors, engineers. Our flagship school in Nigeria is in Koma Hills in Adamawa State. And in that region, feedback from missionaries, they were not wearing clothes at the time. But now you've had several uh, students who've graduated in the mountainous areas of Adamawa State. Our school today is a Neko Center, YX Center for that area. In Lesotho, in the southern part of Africa, we intervened in a school uh, called the Glory Land School. Today, that school has had a 100% pass in terms of the children going through and also become a center in that neighborhood. In Sierra Leone, we have a school. We've got schools dotted all across some of the countries that we've intervened in Africa. It's the same with vocational centers. Um, when the insurgency issue happened in the northeastern part of Nigeria, in my degree, we set up not just an IDP camp, but there's a school there, started as primary. It's now become secondary as well. We have a vocational center. And we've set up a hub where when people, the displaced persons, when they graduate from the vocational centers, they go and set up their skills. So it's a holistic thing. And in all these areas, of course, there is clean water. The vision of Christ Redeemer Schools came out of the prophecy by our Father in the Lord. That vision 
was developed by our mother in Nisre. Since inception, over 20 years ago, and the schools have been involving, still evolving, more has still been uh, coming on board, but to be uh, close to accurate, you can say about 2 million students have passed through the school. Our children, whenever they come out of the system, you will see peculiarity, you will see Christ-like nature in them. The course maternity center was established at Baba Kindarini's house, Useji, in the 1950s. God really used Mommy Gio for the expansion of the maternity. Number one, the school, the school of midwifery, God used Mommy Gio. Some uh, children will come out dead. At the end of the day, we will pray and God we raise them to life. In the last one year, records show that over 9,000 successful deliveries have taken place. The Abidjan of Hope is one of the ministries, you know, that was uh, set up by our mommy Gio, you know. Uh, of course, daddy is the visioner of the place. We are set to go and go out and bring out from the community or from the nation at large street children, orphans, street kids who have nobody to help them and bring them into the home and spiritually see how we can help them and restate, restate them, transform them, save, save their soul for Christ, and if possible, re reintegrate them back to the society. My name is Adegri Tepis. I came from Oak Mega Academy, and I want to thank God for giving me Mommy Gio. She has given us free education, and she has also given us free lunch, and I want to thank God that she will reap the fruit of her labor. My name is Baba Tunifit. I'm a Riba Academy student, SS1 Science. I want to thank Mommy Jo for what she has done for us and what she's still doing because of Mommy Jo. If not for Mommy Jo, I've not seen, I've not have seen the glory of God in my life. I've not given up on education and I don't know what Christianity is because by that time I was a Muslim. But I thank Mommy Jo for what she has done for us and I pray she reaps she rip the fruit of our labor in the mighty name of Jesus. Kadam Christ Against Drug Abuse Ministry is the flagship of Christian social responsibility in the Redeem Christian Church of God. Kadam has really reached into very, very crazy um, rises of this country and we can see the result. So I'm a Muslim before I'm a far. There are people recognized very well in my place. The month that I know Jesus Christ, that is the month I know Kadam. The day that we reach here, the second, we, are two, we were two. My second said, no, I cannot stay here. They will not give us any prastamo. They, can, they will not give us anything. I said, wait, oh. this place, when we find out, it's, it's just to pray. Oh. It's to pray. Oh. Because this place is very hard for one thing. Oh. They will not allow you. If you wake up in the morning, 5 o'clock, 5.15, you will outside be praying. Be praying. Both the pastor, both everybody. There is nothing. There, there is nothing hide here. They will not give you come up prastamo. The only thing is they will be giving you a prayer, heavy prayer, because all of them, they believe in prayer and fasting. And my brother said, he cannot wait. That my father left. When I finished my phase one, when I got home, I heard that, that my brother has died. Um, I'd been doing drugs for about 10, 11 years, approximately. And I was tired. I'd gotten to that point in my life where I was useless to my family. I was useless to myself. I was useless to my family. Um, I, at a point, I left my mom's house. I went to stay with my, my godfather. And a day before he told me about Kadam, I think I stole money from him, a lot of money, and he caught me red-handed. And I felt that was the first time in my life that I ever did something like that and I was remorseful. Because they've been catching me, I know that they've been catching me, but they've never listened. The and he looked at me and he cried, and he told me his own story. He had done it before, and how God 
this and arrested him and God took him back. And he asked me if I am really tired of this. I said, yes. He said, if I give you an option, something that I feel that you can do, will you do it? I said, I'm ready for anything, whatever it is. And then the next day, he just woke me up in the morning and drove me over to Kadam's headquarters. And that me. At first, it was very hard. I'm not used to regiment, I'm not used to discipline. I used to do things on my own. I had freedom and all of that. So it was very hard waking up in the morning and they said, I was, after I got here, I gave my life to Christ. The holistic ministry was established in 1992 um, when a group of women in the church uh, began to have this burden for commercial sex workers, vulnerable girls on the street, teenagers, you know, getting impregnated and thrown away by men. And um, this was brought to the knowledge of our mother in the Lord, Mommy Gio, Pastor Mrs. Fulu Adeboye. And um, this was what parted the Holistic Outreach Ministry. I'm Joy Samuel by name, a native of Equibum States. By God's grace, I've been part of this ministry for couples of years now. When I came in, actually I was brought to, from Abuja as a girl that has been in the brothel for some years. And the mercy of God saved me. Holistic outreach came out for evangelism, so they encountered me. And by God's grace, I decided to give my life to Jesus. And once a sex worker, in that process, I have issues with the guests them, so we fought. So along the line, the girl died, so they brought me to prison. So I was there for 13 years. And some of the ministers that are coming there, they redeem the uh, church people that are coming there. They preach the word of God and I give my life to Christ. And uh, I was praying and uh, God answered my prayer and I was I come out from there safely, so they brought me to list it to come and learn some skill for me to start up. So I learned skill, fashion design, and uh, I graduated successfully in 2020. Mommy is, um, is a mother in a million. She's very quick at picking talents also. She remembers almost everything. Encourages talent, develops talent. I learned from her how to allow the Holy Spirit do an assessment and discernment for you. Her life, for me, is an example to follow. Mommy, we thank God for the day you got born again because we've learned so much from you. Our children are also learning so much from you. Thank God for, for all you do. Mommy, we want to tell you that we love you. You will live long to enjoy the work of your hand, Mommy. We are praying for you. As your days be, so shall your strength be in Jesus' mighty name. We are grateful to God to have you as our mother. You will never know it better yesterday. I wish you the best from God today, my mother, as to mark your 75th year on the planet Earth. On this auspicious day, and with great joy and admiration, we celebrate an extraordinary woman, a mother indeed, and a true inspiration. Your unwavering strength, resilience, grace, love, and support has been the cornerstone upon which we have built. Today and always, we honor you, our beloved mother in Israel, and we cherish the privilege of having you in our lives. <laughs>